Hi, I'm Nan Simonson. I went on a bit of a soup rampage today. In that, I decided I'm going to make a soup. November 13th, it's 91 degrees here in Southern California. But I needed to, I want to refill my freezer with a lot of luscious soups that we can have through the next few months. And so I decided to do a lima bean, um, a Greek lima bean stew. And I made a video of that. And then I decided to do a red lentil chili. Marvelous, smoky flavor. That's in another Instant Pot. Eight quart and then a six quart, both being used. So here I am, hot pot, no oil. I just put in the onion and I'm going to brown that. I don't use oil, I dry saute. Dry meaning I put it in a dry pot, rather hot. It starts to caramelize and onion caramelizes beautifully. Caramelization means that it's weeping its natural juices that then become more thick almost as if you had dried a, uh, a prune and then you put it in water and it releases some of its, um, its juices. This is a slightly different um, idea, not a perfect analogy, but it works somewhat that way. And as it sticks a little bit to the pan and I add a little bit of broth, it bubbles up and it's creating a more and more flavorful glaze. That adds flavor to a soup. Then I'm going to throw in, and you can see that was a little bit brown. I'm gonna throw in some carrots. I'm doing this fast because I wanna show you that you don't have to spend a lot of time throwing ingredients together. This is a really interesting soup because it's kind of a backward soup in that I roasted a large head of cauliflower. You can see I put it on a sheet uh, a cookie sheet, baking sheet, lined with parchment paper, cut it into pieces, and um, that's going to go in with some broth, and I'm just going to bring it to a, a um, simmer, and then I'm going to add um, the lentils that are already cooked. As a matter of fact, I just thought I like this steamed French lentils that I get at Trader Joe's uh, in vacuum packed and ready to go. Um, and they're really inexpensive and you get quite a bit of them. Uh, I believe it's three cups when you open up the pound, the package, of, and it's a pound of steamed lentils. lentils. One pound, 1.6 ounces. Okay. Now remember, we're getting a little bit of a glaze down there. I'm going to add a little bit, and I don't know if you can see that it bubbles, steams, and adds a little bit of browning. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the roasted cauliflower to that. I'm going to add some nutritional yeast, a couple tablespoons. That kind of gives it a rich, cheesy flavor. Some almond milk. And the recipe is attached. Some broth that I just made today. That was the other thing. I did a big, well, this stock pot full of broth by first thing actually that's actually what got me in the mood because I had my scrap bag in the freezer that I throw in gosh carrot tops cilantro that's left over or parsley um, on and on um, vegetable pieces carrot peels um, ends of zucchini anyway all of that ends up going in and I was going to cook it down because I needed that bag to be empty so I could put more things in it. And I'm putting in some garlic, some onion, some thyme stuck to the bottom. I'm gonna get that wet. Hi, Tim. And even to add some saltiness, some tamari. 
I'm gonna bring this slightly to a, not quite simmer, and I'm gonna use an immersion blender to break it all up. This is the soup that will be finished, as you'll see, within minutes. And it's a lovely soup that we're going to serve with spinach that's going to be thrown in at the last minute. All right. The immersion blender is going to be used to break up some of this and give it a creaminess. So you're gonna see what I'm doing here. I'm pushing it down on the vegetables. So that I can get some creaminess from part of this, but I still like the idea of biting into some cauliflower. So it's sort of a half and half thing going on. I could have done this in a blender, but I really love just using the immersion blender. All right. That's about as blended as I want it to be. this aside and see I still have bits of carrot I have some large pieces of cauliflower let me see if there's anything that I wanted to put in here or anything further that I wanted to do no all right if I had transferred let's say a couple cups of this to the blender, I would have a more emulsified look to it. This looks a little chunky, but with the lentils added in, the whole thing is kind of chunky. It is a sort of a country soup. I'm gonna bring it to a simmer, add the spinach, turn it off. That's dinner. Could anything be easier? Now, what about salt and pepper, you might be asking. I'm gonna add pepper. I always add those at the end. And then the salt, I'm going to judge. If you're used to having fast food, processed food, food with a lot of salt, you'll find this bland. So it adds some salt. If you don't, and you're watching your salt intake, which we really all should, then you'll taste these wonderful fresh flavors and appreciate them. And that's why I don't want to dictate how much salt you may want to add to this. You can see the pieces of, of, um, on the cauliflower that indicate that it was roasted. Well, that's going to add beautifully to the flavor here. So we're going to bring it to a simmer over medium heat, add the spinach, give it another minute and then call it a day. I'll add to the end of the video a photo of what the soup looks like plated. I hope you give it a try, enjoy it. And um, before I finish, I'll taste, I'll adjust seasonings. I may wanna add other things to it. I like hot and spicy. Sometimes I just add a harissa paste to something to kick it up a notch. Enjoy, have a great day, because I know I'm going to. Bye-bye.